Hey guys, okay, so I just want to, I'm going to try to make this as short as possible. It might go up to 10 minutes, but I'm not sure. So we'll just see how it goes. Um, if I talk too much, you can just skip ahead. I'm sorry. I can't really help it because I talk a lot. But um, as you can tell by the title, it is um, like cheer related. It is cheer because, you know. Um, so I'm going to be just like kind of showing you guys what you should, like the proper things to wear to like games, competitions, and then like cheer practices and things like that. So, um, I'm going to go round up the things that I just threw on the floor from the last video, from the video I just recorded, um, and then erased. And then also, like, things that you can wear to practice and things like that. And then, yeah, so, um, um, yeah, so there will be, I will talk about some videos that are going to be in the future at the end of the video, but I'm going to go because it's already been a long. So, let's start with your shoes and socks. Here we go. Okay, so for socks, I know it's weird to kind of start with socks, but still, this is the first thing that goes on your feet. So, some socks that are good for practice, I'm not really naming brands, but like something that's appropriate for practice um, and not really appropriate for games and competition and things would be like, I got these from Room, in case you're wondering, um, like socks with like patterns or colors or you know, that are not, like, plain white. Um, also, this kind of sock, even though it is um, somewhat white, still, it has this, so it'll be showing, and yeah, that's not good for competitions and games. Um, or, like, I know this is gray, and this is gray, um, but it, it, it will show with white shoes. It will show, so you'll be able to see, but this is definitely good for, like, practice and things like that. And some socks that are okay that aren't, like, perfectly white um, would be these kind of socks. Like, I have this. It has a P on it. I don't know what it stands for. Um, honestly, if you could tell me, I don't really care if you tell me or not. Because, you know, I don't know. But that's not important. But, like, as long as it doesn't show color where the where your sock will be showing, it should be fine. Um, but just make sure it's... Try to make it as plain white as possible. So, like, this would be fine because it's up here, the toe, and that will not show in any way. So, um, definitely a sock like this would be okay. It's not recommended, but it's it would be it would be good. So, that, that, those are like the only kind of socks I have, anyways. But um, this is a perfectly like plain white sock. It's not like plain white because you know it's kind of dirty. I don't know. It's it's clean, but I don't know. It's just worn out from like shoes and things like that. So it's not perfectly white, but it is white. It's not any other color. So this would be a perfect sock to have. And it has like this little breathing thing. So um, that is it for socks. I know two minutes, but still. So on to shoes. Okay, so for shoes, um, I just want to talk about it. Um, something good for practice would be, well, I'm not naming like brands or anything, but like Converse would be fine. I have, um, like, these are my good Converse. I have other Converse that are kind of worn out that I wear to practice, but, like, Converse would be fine for practice, but not good for competitions and games. So anything, I don't know, that's not white, I guess. I don't know. Any kind of shoe would be fine for practice. I wouldn't recommend your shoes, though, for practice. I mean, unless you have, like, a worn out pair, which I do. Um, that, But I don't wear those to practice because, I don't know, they're just harder to practice because they're bigger and bulkier, so, yeah. So obviously these are new. These are these are I, these are brand new. I've never worn these. These are Nike. I just got these the other night, and they are cheer shoes, like dedicated cheer shoes. So these are Nike. This is what they look like. Um, oh, and for practice, anything that ties would be fine. So anything that ties would be fine for cheer practice. So make sure your cheer shoes tie before you get them, and make sure they're like mostly white so try to get them as white as possible um you can get these online but they are a little pricey i don't know i got these from the nike store at our outlet mall okay so that is it for socks and shoes now i'm going to be moving on to like bottoms shorts things like that okay so for shorts and things like that you can wear sweatpants and um to practice in and things this is mainly towards practice and things but like, when you're stunting and tumbling, you don't want to have anything loose or baggy on you. Um, unless you have, like, snakies, especially if you're, if you're the fly. So, 
I recommend Sophie shorts. They're they're really good for like dance and cheer. Obviously, this is more dedicated for cheer, but you know, I just the tag worn off. But I just like fold it over. They had different colors too, by the way. So just and then most of the Sophie shorts are like they have this little tear thing. I don't know. You can look at the tag. They usually say Sophie, but um, tight shorts would be recommended. Um, if you don't have like completely tight shorts, um, spankies are recommended. These are not spankies, but I do have spankies. I just don't know where they are. Um, so, um, I have dance shorts, and I'm going to tell you, don't be afraid to go for dance shorts if you can't find spankies. Um, you don't have to, like, if you find dance shorts, but you don't think they're fine, they are as long as they're, like, like, the right thing. I don't know. As long as they match your uniform, I think nobody should, nobody should notice, because, I mean, it's not like your skirt flies up all the time. Um. Like, any kind of spankies, like, you can get spankies at Walmart, um, and, um, for practice, you can just, any kind of, um, things. They have different, like, different designs and things like that. You can order them online, too, but I just went to these dance wear and got some dance shorts, and these are not, like, Sophie shorts or anything like this. These are, like, I don't know, like, spandex. Ooh. But, yeah. So I just wear these, like, underneath my shorts and things because they're tight and, you know when we're doing stunts so you don't you don't you don't want people seeing your underwear from you like if you tumbling or anything or anything like that so these are definitely good to have um and don't be afraid to go for dance shorts if you can't find spankies for your uniform so you don't have to like go online or anything um just as long as they're like a spanky material well not like spanky material but like they're tight they're tight enough so i recommend trying them on before getting them um making and like maybe bringing the skirt Cause that's what I had to do. I had to like bring my skirt in the store, it, and it does sound weird, but it helped. And they they understood. They're like, yeah, we get it all the time. So just to kind of make sure it's kind of close. Um, so yeah, that is it for the bottoms, things like that. Now I'm gonna move on to tops, and I'm just gonna show you what I'm wearing. So tops and things. Okay, so for tops, it's okay to wear like tank tops and things like this, the camis. Um, sports bra would be recommended to have underneath the tank top or something, or just a sports bra. Sports bra would be fine, but um, it's just for extra support. I mean, you don't have to have one, but they're more comfortable to, you know, do stunts and things in. Um, especially because you're, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, let's go. Okay, so, um, I, that, I don't know, that was weird. So, um, I don't know, and especially if you're coming and things like that. Because, you know, the things with the little clippy things. Anyways, um, so, yeah. Um, and, like, tops, sorry, those are kids. Okay, so, like, you can wear, like, tank tops and things like that. That's perfectly fine. Um, I know some gyms require to you to, um, be wearing, like, they have, like, a certain thing you have to be wearing. But, honestly, it just depends. But, um, anything prop, like, anything you can wear to a chair. Um, so, like, you can just wear, like, a loose t-shirt, just make sure you have, like, a cami or a tank top underneath it, um, to make sure, like, when, if the shirt flies up, um, it's not gonna, like, show anything, so, and then, also, like, I'd recommend, like, tying this in the back with, like, a ponytail, I know a lot of girls do that anyways, but, I don't know, if you don't, like, I usually don't, like, I don't know, I start, I, I only do it during picture practice, if I even wear those, but, I don't know, it can be, I'm Anyways, um, so you can just, like, wear a loose shirt or something. Um, anything that is really comfortable to cheer in. Um, you can wear something fitted, like an Aeropostal shirt. I have, like, an Aeropostal shirt that's, like, fitted. So, and if you don't know what fitted means, it's, like, not, not necessarily tight, but, like, close. So it's not gonna, like like just right up and you lift your arms up you know i don't know i don't know how to explain it you should know but still um so shirts you know anything that's comfortable really or fitted so that is it for shirts um so it is the end of the video oh wait hair just pull your hair up and keep your hair out of your face things like that so um that is it now um I'm not going to share any like cheer stories with you or anything because the video is pretty long, but I do just want to say 
that um cheerleading is it, it is a lot of hard work but it's definitely worth it so yeah so um you can get most of these things online not like that cheer um like cheer websites and things just google it or search it or whatever um and then you know you should be you should be able to find it. If not, check Walmart, um, Target, Kohl's, um, things like that for like cheer, like clothing, like practice. Um, and there will be some future videos of you know, um, like hair for cheer competition and things like that. If you don't, if um, your coaches don't require a, um, like a certain hairdo, like if if you want to have it straight, you can have it straight, and then if other people want it curly, you can curly anything but like that. And then I will do like cheer makeup for like comp I don't know if we have um like a kit for competition for competition I'll have to um talk about that one later but um I'll do uh, makeup um for like games and things so just uh make sure you have your school colors that's about it um and yeah so if you have any questions about anything else I know it's a long video but if you have any questions just ask send me a message comment if you, if you don't know I send you a message, um, anything like that. So comment, rate, subscribe, things like that. Um, and yeah, that is it. If, there, if there's anything I missed, um, I will try to cover it in another true video later on. Just let me know. So yeah, comment, send me a message, anything like that. Um, and I will talk to you all later. Sorry so long, but yeah. So, bye.